Hello and welcome back to our Lord of the Rings LCG solo progression series. And today's quest is Return to Mirkwood, which is the sixth and final AP in the Shadows of Mirkwood cycle. Uh, it's kind of cool that we're returning to Mirkwood because uh, obviously the cycle, if you include the core set, began with passage through Mirkwood. And so now we're coming full circle back to Mirkwood and uh, we'll be taking on a really difficult quest in solo particularly. Uh, so a quick reminder that in this series, we're playing through each quest in chronological order of the game's initial release, and we'll only be using player cards that were available at the time of this quest's release. I'm calling this deck Conflict Aversion. You may remember that in the uh, Conflict of the Karak, I used a deck called Conflict Resolution, and the idea with that deck was to build up towards combat, but in this deck, the idea is to avoid it completely, we want to use Denethor's action to bury cards, uh, well, to bury enemies specifically, and we're going to try to do our best to make that happen through a couple, uh, three times Westfold Horsebreaker. If we need to ready Denethor, we could, we could discard a Westfold Horsebreaker to ready him. We have three Unexpected Courages. We have Rumor from the Earth. We also have Shadow of the Past, a new card from Return to Mirkwood, which can really be uh, a, a difference maker in this quest. Well, it's a really hard one. You can lose it immediately or even maybe win it immediately if you get the right few cards the first couple of rounds. Let's get to the quest and see how we do. Okay, opening hand looks good. I like it. Card draw, uh, a Shadows of Mirkwood. These are useless for now, but eventually I could use them. I, I would prefer not to have two standing fights, but I do like that I have a couple of Ancient Mathems. Okay, let's look at the setup for Through the Forest. Having captured Gollum, you must now escort him through Mirkwood Forest for interrogation at Thranduil's palace. Setup. Search the encounter deck for Gollum. Choose a player to guard Gollum at the start of the game. That'll be us. And we bring him down to our control. And then we shuffle the encounter deck and reveal one card per player. Before we reveal that card, let's look at Gollum. He is in our possession. He's under our control, technically. Um, he counts as an ally. We just can't attack, defend, or quest with him. But for every other purpose of the game, he counts as an ally. It does say that undefended attacks, damage from undefended attacks, must be placed on Gollum. So Frodo becomes a lot less helpful because uh, you can't bypass this text. It says if Gollum is destroyed or if the player guarding Gollum is eliminated, the players have lost the game. One cool thing is because he's an ally, you could put self-preservation on him. But because we're avoiding conflict as a sort of uh, approach to this quest, uh, I'm, I'm not going to do that. But um, that's possible if you played a deck where you wanted to go that route. So he has this really nasty forced effect. At the end of each round, raise the threat of the player guarding Gollum by three, and then that player may choose a new player to guard Gollum. So in four player, you can imagine how much Gollum is sort of like this hot potato. Uh, every round, having to increase your threat by three is really hard. Well, that's, the, that's what we get in solo. Every round, we get to increase our threat by three at the end of the round. So between the refresh phase and this effect, a threat, of increase, a threat increase of four every single round, really difficult. So so definitely this quest requires a little bit of rushing uh, with the cards we have available to us. Okay, so let's reveal this card. Um, this is where you can lose the game immediately. We just don't want to see an enemy. And so um, usually when I'm playing this, I mean, I've won where I re revealed an enemy, but if it's Adderkop, Adderkop, you're going to lose. And so you could think, well, maybe I should have Frodo in the quest. But again, Adderkop, Adderkop is going to attack for eight. So Frodo's going to always have to be ready. I'd rather have Eleanor. Uh, that's a lot of threat increase, and threat is going to go up quick. So uh, we, I think this is the best lineup for for this quest at this point with the cards in the progression that are available. Okay, we're going to reveal a card and hope that we don't lose the game right here. It is Mirkwood Bats Shoot, and it's going to quest a, a surge into despair. When revealed, remove four progress tokens from the current quest. Okay. So i got to deal with Mirkwood Bats. I hate it. Probably my least favorite card in the deck besides Addercop, Addercop. Okay, through the forest, 12 progress needed. Mirkwood is always a dangerous place, but it is even worse with Gollum. Between the outbursts, tantrums, and the flying provisions, you are, never, you are not afforded a moment's peace. 
All right, so we're going to make 12 progress. Let's move on to the resource phase. Uh, some good news is we have, well, let's go ahead and play Rumor from the Earth. Look at the top card of the encounter deck. Then you may pay one lore resource to return Rumor from the Earth to your hand. So before I worry about using Denethor's action, we can use this to sort of spy out what's coming. And it is wasted provisions. We're fine with that. So do I want to pay this resource to bring Rumor from the Earth back into my hand? I don't think I do. I'll just discard it, you know, use it and discard it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually play an Unexpected Courage onto Denethor. And what I'm going to do here is quest just with Eowyn. And I reveal Wasted Provisions. When revealed, discard the top 10 cards from the deck of the player guarding Gollum. That player must choose a new player to guard Gollum if able. I don't mind discarding 10 cards because, you know, we already have a couple of standing fights. Now we actually might can play them. So here's the 10 cards we're losing. Um, a few allies in the form of Westfold Horsebreaker. Some Test of Wills. I don't like losing those. Anyway, so that's what we uh, that's what we had to discard uh, there. In the discard pile, we can see just events primarily. A couple of Test of Wills. A couple of Strength of Will. And two Strider's Paths. Okay. All right, so we made three progress on the current quest. And now during the encounter phase, uh, Mirkwood Bats will engage us. And it says, after Mirkwood Bats engages a player, deal one damage to each character controlled by the player guarding Gollum. That includes Gollum. So everybody is going to get um, damaged. Okay, so Mirkwood Bats is going to attack. And I'm going to just take this undefended. I know that means that damage could be placed on Gollum, but we can take it. Discard the top five cards from the deck of the player guarding Gollum. Okay, so let's do that. Top five. And not too many terrible losses there. Okay, so that's undefended damage. We're going to put it on Gollum. And now Eleanor can attack and destroy uh, Mirkwood Bats. No, no, Eleanor, uh, there has to be a combination here. Whoops. Yeah, he's got a defense. So Eleanor and Denethor will destroy Mirkwood Bats. Now we ready Denethor and look at what's coming next round. It's Brown Lands. All right, that's good. Okay, next round. But actually, before the next round, we have to raise our threat by three because we control Gollum. Now on to round two. Okay, we know Brownlands is coming. Let's just think, let's consider our options. Uh, I'd like to save up for Elf Helm. That's not so, such a bad thing to do. I don't really need the Westfold Horse Breakers. They're the only allies in the discard pile. I'd love to play these Ancient Mathems, but um, that would mean maybe leaving Brownlands in the staging area an extra round. Let's just quest with Eleanor and Eowyn, and we reveal Brownlands. Our threat does not increase. Okay, so during the uh, after quest resolution during this action, let's just see what's coming with Denethor. It's Wargs. We're going to bury that. Put it at the bottom of the encounter deck. Ready him and do it again. Great Forest Web. Okay, we can deal with uh, waiting a couple of rounds to get these Ancient Mathems online. We're going to travel to Brownlands. When we do, we place a progress token on Brownlands and it leaves play. Okay, we'll refresh, and our threat goes up by three because we are guarding Gollum. Okay, and so next round. We will go ahead and play Elfhelm. And he's cool. While Ralph Helm is ready, he gains response after your threat is raised as a result of questing unsuccessfully or by an encounter or quest card effect, reduce your threat by one. So uh, this forced effect will raise our threat by three. Elf Helm will lower it by one. So it makes it a little bit more bearable having Gollum. 
Okay, I'm going to quest with Eowyn and with... We'll leave uh, Eleanor ready for uh, exhausting to travel to Great Forest Web. And we're going to also quest with Elfhelm. And we reveal Great Forest Web. We made three progress. And now to travel here, we must exhaust a hero that we control. Let's exhaust Eleanor. We're going to go ahead and take Denethor's action. And it's Gollum's Bite. Let's move that to the bottom of the encounter deck. That would kill any of our heroes. Let's look again. It's Mirkwood Bats. We'll bury that. Refresh. At the end of the round, our threat goes up by three because of Gollum, but then Elfhelm, because he's ready now, uh, you know, we always ready him during the refresh phase, and then it's at the end of the phase, at the end of the round that this happens. So we raise our threat by three and lowered it back down by one because of Elfhelm. Okay, next round. Now we get some good card draw here. Let's put two Ancient Mathems onto Great Forest Web. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a sort of survey of what I have. A couple of Westfold Horsebreakers and Unexpected Courage. So if I got a Dwarven Tomb, I could get that back in play. And then just a bunch of events. Primarily a Test of Will is the one that I miss. I've got a couple of Strider's Paths and I think all, well, two of them are in the discard. That's for uh, dealing with a location that has a pretty nasty travel effect. Okay, we're in planning. Let's look at what's coming with Denethor again. Okay, Woodman's Glade. So eventually, if I kind of ran out of Denethor's action, I could play a Shadows of Mirkwood and move the top card of the encounter discard pile to the top of the encounter deck. So I could have done that with Brownlands and... So that's where the combination of Denethor's actions with some other cards can manipulate the encounter deck for us. All right, we don't have anything else to do, but we will quest with Eowyn and with Elfhelm and with Eleanor. No, nope, we need to leave her ready for this uh, effect. Okay, we reveal Woodman's Glade. We made two progress, or three, I mean, two and one. And I won't discard anybody to make additional progress using Awen's action. Okay, so when we explore Great Forest Web, because we have two Ancient Mathems attached, we're going to draw six cards. That definitely gets us in a good position. Some good willpower here. And now to travel to Woodman's Glade, the player guarding Gollum must exhaust a hero he controls to do that. So we'll exhaust Eleanor and travel. Uh, and then we will look at what's coming on the encounter deck. It's Addercop, Addercop. Let us bury that as quick as we can. Okay, we will refresh. And at the end of the round, our threat goes up by three. And Elfhelm reduces it by one. Next round. Okay, let's look at what's coming with Denethor. Dry water course. All right. So I'm not really wanting to play Shadows of Shadow of the Past yet. Let's ready Denethor. Okay, so we want to get some willpower out. I think it would be important to do that. Let's go ahead and one, two, three. Let's play. Rivendell Minstrel that has a response that we can search our deck for a song card, but there are no song cards in the deck, so I will choose not to um, do the Rivendell Minstrel's response. Uh, we will also play a West Road Traveler from our hand. And that is it for now. We're going to quest. Let's see, this one doesn't have any kind of travel effect, so I'll go ahead and send Eleanor on the quest as well as Eowyn, Elfhelm, Rivendell Minstrel, West Road Traveler, and we reveal Dry Water Course. We made a progress, which is six on the current quest. That clears it. Okay, so we're moving on. 2A, as soon as, uh, escape attempt. As soon as he thinks that no one is watching, Gollum attempts to slip his bonds and escape. We have to make three progress to advance. The player guarding Gollum cannot commit characters to this quest unless he is the only player remaining in the game. So in solo, uh, this, this text might as well not be there. 
uh, says if the player's quest unsuccessfully, Gollum escapes and the players have lost the game. But as you can tell, we won't have trouble uh, with questing. Okay, we're going to travel here. While dry water course is the active location, all treachery cards, if treachery card effects that target the player, guarding Gollum also target each other player. So uh, just nothing in, multi in solo. Okay, let's take the end of Thor's action to look at what's coming. It's Gollum's anguish. We're going to cancel that. And we're going to refresh. And at the end of the round, our threat goes up by three. And Elfhelm brings it back down by one. So Elfhelm's great uh, in this quest. Okay, let's use Denethor's action again. All right, just the location. That's all we want to see. Okay, so we are going to, we are going to quest past this. I think it's a good idea. Next round, we won't be able to play cards from our hand. So I think it's a good idea to go ahead and play Shadow of the Past. Let's use our, let's use one resource from Denethor's pool. Nope. Let's use both of our spirit uh, resources to play Shadow of the Past. Move the top card of the encounter discard pile to the top of the encounter deck. So that's going to be Woodman's Glade. And so now I have two straight locations, uh, which helps me when I move on to uh, the third stage. Okay, then I'm going to play this Rivendell Minstrel. And I'm questing. You see, I think I have to leave uh, Eleanor ready to, this is a card I just placed on top of the deck. Yeah, I have to have a ready hero. Okay, so we're going to reveal Woodman's Glade, and we made nine progress, which is seven on the current quest, and so we passed escape attempt. Okay, 3A to the Elven King's Hall. Having thwarted Gollum's escape attempt, you tighten his rope and push on through Mirkwood to Thranduil's Palace. We have to make seven progress, and the player guarding Gollum cannot play cards from his hand. So all these lovely cards just stay in our hand, but we can take actions. So let's take an action. Let's use Denethor to, nope, we don't need to because we know what's next. All right, we will travel here to Woodman's Glade. To do so, we have to exhaust a hero we control, and so we exhaust Eleanor, and we'll refresh. At the end of the round, our threat goes up by three, and Elfhelm brings it back down next round okay so we can't play cards right now from our hand we can only quest let's do that let's quest with we'll quest with everybody including Eleanor we should be good here okay we reveal the spider's ring that's nine progress which is enough we cleared women's glade and put seven progress onto the Elven King's Hall. So final stage, ambush. As you make the final push to Thranduil's palace, your enemies make a desperate attempt to ambush your party and seize Gollum for themselves. We have to make two progress to, to win. There's this forced effect at the beginning of the combat phase. All enemies in play engage the player guarding Gollum. There are no enemies. We've tried to ensure that. And so that's one of the reasons why is that's just a tough reality, but then this is the primary reason all the enemies have been buried. Players cannot defeat this stage if there are any any enemies in play. That includes Mirkwood Bats, right? It doesn't matter. We cannot win if enemies are in play. If players defeat the stage, they have won the game. So during travel, we will travel to the Spider's Ring. And we're going to use Denethor's action to, well, I guess that doesn't hurt us. No reason to bury that. Refresh. Our threat goes up by three and comes back down because of Elfhelm, but we'll win this round and that's exciting. All right, we will spend two resources to play Escort from Eteros and what's in our discard pile? Yeah, then we'll play, uh, oh yeah, we'll, we have another one. We'll both We'll play these two escorts from Eteros. It says, while committed to a quest, escort from Eteros gains plus two willpower. So I'll just go ahead and boost them. Once you have committed, once you have completed that quest, resolved it, you discard escort from Eteros from play. Okay, so I have two resources that I can't really use here with, with Denethor uh, for any purpose. 
Um, so we're just going to quest with everybody, including Denethor. And we reveal, caught in the web, when revealed, the player with the highest threat level attaches this card to one of his heroes. And it's a condition that says attached hero does not ready during the refresh phase. We'll put it on Denethor. We made 21 progress. So that is 19 on the current quest. And so we won. And our threat was climbing. Uh, so there's no enemies in play. And that means we've won. Our threat was at 47. So if we hadn't won that round, we would have lost. But as you can see, we had Galadrim screenings. We just never played them. There wasn't a need to. Um, so my preference is for no enemy to ever come out. But obviously, we had to deal with um, a Mirkwood Bats. Uh, so a few things about this quest. Uh, I think we saw Elfhelm and how he works. He was definitely the difference maker in this quest. Um, Escort from Edoras we can use for these desperate pushes like round stage three. Uh, if we were able to put out an Escort from Edoras while we were at stage two, we, we could get the necessary willpower potentially. Gandalf, even at full price, is helpful for card draw. You just never know. Even damage, damaging an enemy or defending or attacking. He's expensive, but there have been times where he's won me the game. Um, so Westfold's Horsebreaker, you can just, as an action, discard it to choose and ready a hero. Sometimes early on, we're desperate to use Denethor's action because we don't know what's coming. So Westfold Horsebreaker is a really crappy, unexpected courage, I guess, you know, because it's, it's gone once you use it. But it can, it's won me some games with this. Uh, Unexpected Courage is way better than Westfall Horsebreaker, but we're just desperate when we play this. Um, Lorien's Wealth, sometimes I've actually not gotten Rivendell Minstrel, and so that gives me something to spend Denethor's resources on. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. We never played Strength of Will, but sometimes that gets us where we need to be, and just further down the road in terms of progress on the active location slash current quest. And then Strider's Path, we could play if that, I forget the name of it, but there's a location that has a travel effect that makes you reveal a card. So Strider's Path eliminates that. So that is it. That's pretty much the, the game. So if you just look at the enemies in this deck, they are quite brutal. Outer Cop, Outer Cop, uh, 44 engagement, 2 threat, 8 attack, 4 defense, 6 hit points. Forced at the beginning of the encounter phase he automatically engages the player guarding Gollum. Just brutal. Uh, so we're glad we never saw him in play. But, I mean, we're, we're talking about some harder enemies like Marsh Adder and King Spider and, you know, lots to try to avoid. And that's what we have done. So I hope you enjoyed the playthrough and I hope you enjoyed the cycle. We'll be moving on to the second cycle in the game and the second deluxe, Kaza Doom and the accompanying... Uh, Dwarf Delf cycle. I really like that uh, cycle, especially for the player cards. There's some great player cards that we'll be able to add into our decks moving forward. But I thank you for joining me and I hope you have a great day.